This Sunday, as you all know, is Mother's Day. But did you know that the first Mother's Day was anything but a Hallmark holiday? The first Mother's Day, actually the proclamation, was uh, written in 1870 by Julia Ward Howe. And if that uh, name sounds familiar to you, the Battle Hymn of the Republic. Um, she wrote the poem that um, inspired that song that is so popular. Julia was educated, so which means she came from wealth, and um, she was raised as an Episcopalian, but later she converted to the Unitarian Church, probably because Unitarians were more progressive than Episcopalians. She was very active in the social justice movements of her day, particularly abolitionism and women's suffrage. Her Mother's Day proclamation came out of a vision that she had where uh, women of all nationalities could come together and, um, and respond to the carnage of the Civil War and the Franco-Prussian War, and actually wars in general. So I want to read you the first Mother's Day proclamation. And keep in mind, this is 1870. Arise then, women of this day. Arise all women who have hearts. Whether your baptism be of water or of tears, say firmly, we will not have questions answered by irrelevant agencies. And our husbands will not come to us reeking with carnage for caress and applause. Our sons shall not be taken from us to unlearn all that we have been able to teach them of charity, mercy, and patience. We, the women of one country, will be too tender of those of another country to allow our sons to be trained to injure theirs. From the voice of a devastated earth, a voice comes up with our own, and it says, disarm, disarm, the sword of murder is not the balance of justice. Blood does not wipe out dishonor, nor violence indicate possession. As men have forsaken the plow and the anvil at the summons of war, let women now leave all that may be left of home for a great and earnest day of counsel. Let them meet first as women to bewail and commemorate the dead. Let them solemnly take counsel with each other as to the means whereby the great human family can live in peace, each bearing after his own time the sacred impress, not of Caesar, but of God. In the name of womanhood and humanity, I earnestly ask that a general Congress of women without limit of nationality may be appointed and held at some place deemed most convenient and at the earliest period consistent with its objectives to promote the alliance of the different nationalities, the amicable settlements of international questions, the great and general interests of peace. I mean, wouldn't it be great if Julia's dream of a gathering of women of all nationalities be realized. What Julia's writing says to me, uh, she believed that there's a whole lot of power when mothers and all women come together to work for justice and freedom and peace. And we need this today more than ever. Imagine what we could do. And so yeah, I encourage you over your mimosa or your beautiful brunch, or your flowers that you're going to receive on Mother's Day, maybe take a bit of time out of the day to pray with Julia Ward Howe.